Welcome everyone. Um, here I have this device that I came up with um, just a while ago. Uh, it just popped into my head and I was wondering if I was able to store enough energy on some rubber bands to produce electricity. Basically what it does, um, it uh, powers, it turns this uh, small electric motor that I have here and it works as a generator to produce some electricity and power this uh, small flashlight which has nine LEDs okay it just works for like a second and a half but um, the, the the main thing is I wanted to see you that you know like I said before um, store enough energy on the rubber bands in order to produce electricity okay let's just see how it works Pretty simple. Just made a small crank here, um, so I could turn it like this, and it'll just spin the rubber bands. And I'm gonna use some paper clips to hold it in place over here. Okay, like this. Now I'm just going to spin it. Now the energy that I'm putting in will be stored in the rubber bands. That's what's going to happen. Let me show you how the rubber band is twisting. Just like those uh, model airplanes that use a rubber band to fly, sort of like that. But this one, I'm just going to use it to produce some electricity. That's good. Now the rubber bands are all twisted and to hold this one, this side I use the other paper clip. Like that. And now the energy that I put in is stored in the rubber bands. Okay. Well, I could leave it like that. And that energy is still stored in there. Pretty cool. Um, at least for me, you know. Um, and to release that energy, I'll just, I'm just going to take off the paper clip. And we'll see how this works. How it lights up. How's that? Okay. There we go. Yeah, like I said, it just takes uh, like a second, but it's enough to power this uh, small flashlight that has nine LEDs. I mean, just uh, just I just wanted to test it out. It's very simple. You can make it. You know. Um, of course, uh, with this um, little device, now I can make a really big one. Uh, add a bunch of rubber bands, way more than this. Um, add a, uh, a few gears over here so I could uh, only uh, crank it like a, give it a few turns and it will be enough to turn all these rubber bands like hundreds of times I mean I have a lot of power in one hand and one arm and I could use uh, like I said a bunch of gears just to turn it once or a few times it will turn all these rubber bands hundreds of times and it's just going to take one like a few seconds to turn and it'll be ready to power this light for more than just one second and a half or one second yeah okay now let's just test it in the dark let's see how that works
Okay, uh, well now let's just uh, test the voltage on this uh, small electric motor. Let's see how, how many volts we get. Um, I, I would test also the amperage, but um, I think I burned a fuse on my voltmeter or something's wrong with it. I'm not able to measure it. That's why. So I'm just going to measure the volts. Okay. Okay, uh, I went up to 14 point something volts. Um, that was just like uh, for a second. But like I said, um, it works. So if you want to make one, I'm pretty sure you can make it way better. Um, I, I can make another one. But I, like, this um, just wanted to test it out. And it does work. And I hope um, that if you're watching this, um, it kind of... Uh, um, sparks your mind to make something with uh, rubber bands to produce electricity okay uh, and well and that's it and <laughs> thank you for watching